just love Tesla superchargers. Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about this week, Tesla superchargers. Not just any Tesla superchargers, we're gonna be talking about version two and version three Tesla superchargers. And what's the difference? Well, stick with the video to find out. So we're now approaching Kiel Services southbound on the M6 to get our first charge at the version two superchargers. Tesla's supercharger network comprises of a mix of older version 2 models and its latest version 3 devices. The version 2s making up the majority, having a charging capacity of 150 kilowatts, meaning it's going to take about 75 minutes to fully charge an entry level Model 3 75 kilowatt hour battery. So here we are at our version two local superchargers here on the services of the M6. A significant thing with the version two chargers though, is that although they are now built to charge at 150 kilowatts, the disadvantage is if you've got a stool which you're sharing as we are here with another car, 2A and 2B, you're not gonna get 150 kilowatts. You're gonna get about half of that. So let's see what we're getting right now here at the superchargers on the services, these version two superchargers. Let's see what we're getting here. So as you can see, we're getting speeding charges of about 118 kilowatts, which is really quite good here, uh, considering the fact that this is a version two supercharger. We're charging up to 80% battery, and that means we're getting a charge speed of about 40 minutes here at the version two. What will be interesting to see is how we compare this to the version three chargers, which we're going to visit later on today. Tesla has now installed more than 6,000 superchargers across Europe, including more than 600 in the UK and Ireland. It's taken Tesla just eight years to create 6,039 chargers following the installation of the first European Tesla supercharger accompanying the arrival of the Model S in Norway in 2013. So now we're on our way to Trentham, which is where our version three superchargers are down the M6 as we make towards these V3 superchargers. These charge at up to 250 kilowatts. Tesla claims that could reduce my charging speed by up to 50%. At this rate, this Model 3 long range operating at peak efficiency should be able to recover up to 75 miles of charge in just five minutes and charges at up to a thousand miles per hour. Yes, a thousand miles per hour. Let's see how we get on when we get to Trenton. So as you can see, when we were at Kiel, we arrived with 35% battery. Having charged a little bit for this test, we later arrived at Trenton with 39%. So there's about 4% difference. So you have to bear that in mind for our charging test here. Here at the version three superchargers, you can see we're getting speeds of 123 kilowatts per hour. That means we're charging at 557 miles per hour at its maximum. When we look back at the version two rates we were getting, we were charging at 116 kilowatts per hour at the maximum. That was giving us a range of 529 miles per hour. Not a huge difference when you think what Tesla were quoting, but we'd get 75 miles in just five minutes. I think to sum up this test, we can see there isn't a great deal of difference at the moment. Given the state of charge of my battery at just over 30%, it seems that actually whether I was plugged into a version 2 or a version 3 charger, we were getting pretty much the same speeds. Now, of course, Tesla quote, your battery has to be pretty much run down. And I would expect that I probably have to be on a couple of percent to see that 75 miles in just five minutes. And that could be one of the reasons why we're seeing these results in this test. Despite these upgrades, Tesla supercharging network is actually no longer the fastest available. The recently launched Ionity rapid charging network is actually capable of 350 kilowatt charging speeds. However, it is worth bearing in mind that only 40 UK stations are planned and there are currently no cars on sale that can make the use of this maximum speed. Even the Porsche Taycan will only charge at up to 270 kilowatts for now. 
the Tesla Model 3 can use the Ionity network thanks to its CCS charging port, although its fastest charging rate will again be less than the network's maximum 350 kilowatts. Tesla also points out that its superchargers won't always deliver full speed, as we've seen today. The rate you experience could drop depending on your battery level. It takes longer to charge the last 20% of a battery than the first 20% from empty. The number of cars using the supercharged stations, as we've mentioned before with the 2A and 2B situation and a version 2 at the same time. And also the temperature on the day. Freezing temperatures in winter can reduce charging speeds and make waiting times longer. You might have seen this week news reporting Elon responding to tweets online about the supercharger network, particularly the 250 kilowatt peak that we currently see on the version 3s. He's suggesting that these are going to be upgraded to a more impressive 300 kilowatts. This will see the supercharger network come more in line with that Ionity supercharger network currently at 350 kilowatts. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it interesting and useful, particularly if you're planning long journeys and thinking of using the supercharger network that we've got here in the UK. Nine superchargers version 3s opened in June in the UK alone, including this one that I used at Trentum. It shows Tesla are expanding its network and it's getting bigger and better every day. What better reason than to get yourself in a Tesla having access to this fantastic charging network, regardless of those peak speeds? If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell to hear all about all the latest videos we're doing. If you're getting your Tesla yourself, you'll benefit from a thousand free supercharging miles if you use my referral link, or anyone's for that matter. I'd be really grateful if you use mine, it'll help me keep motoring and you when you get in your brand new car. Until next time, take care.